Hello, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog, and today we are gonna talk about milkshakes in Disney World. I'm gonna tell you my favorite, favorite, favorite milkshakes in all of Walt Disney World, and some of these are brand new. So even if you've seen our blog post about milkshakes a, a long time ago, um, these are updated, my friends. Let's talk about some updates. Okay, first up, we're gonna go to the quintessential milkshake, the 50s Primetime Cafe Peanut Butter and Jelly Shake. And 50s Primetime, of course, is in Hollywood Studios. Their Peanut Butter and Jelly Shake doesn't look a lot like very much jelly is is involved <laughs> did that make any sense um it's very peanut buttery and there's vanilla ice cream i don't see a lot of jelly um anywhere in it but i'm sure it's there and this is a guest favorite so if you are at 50s prime time go ahead and grab this one for your dessert over at Beaches and Cream, of course, Beaches and Cream is a favorite here at DFB. It's this little tiny soda shop at Beach Club Resort over near Epcot. And they have some incredible ice cream concoctions, including some awesome shakes. One of the classic favorites is the Frozen Sunshine, which is basically Florida in a glass. It's orange sherbet and soda. They've got little jelly candies on top. So much fun, a lot of fun to drink. But also Beaches and Cream has brought some alcoholic shakes, which is kind of a big trend in Disney World last year and this year that they're getting some hard shakes in the mix. So one of our favorites is the alcoholic s'mores shake, which is chocolate and vanilla ice cream, amarula cream liqueur, creme de dark cocoa, marshmallow sauce, chocolate sauce, and graham crackers. And then uh, another couple that are really fun on the hard shake list at Beaches and Cream are the Grasshopper Float with Guinness and Mint Chip Ice Cream. And there's another one with Guinness and um, Vanilla Ice Cream with Chocolate Sauce. So these are really heavy. These are definitely a meal in a glass um, for most folks. So be prepared for that. Headed over to Hollywood Studios again at Sci-Fi Dine-In. Um, a big favorite here is the Orbiting Oreos Milkshake. This is um, an Oreo milkshake, so cookies and cream with Oreos mixed in, and Godiva chocolate liqueur to kind of give it a little zing and a little more chocolate flavor. Um, this usually comes with a light-up ice cube in it too, of course, and you can get this one non-alcoholic. You can just get the plain Oreo milkshake as well. All right, we're headed to Animal Kingdom. We're going to Dino Land, where if you go to Trilo Bites, you may be lucky enough to grab the Smoky Bones Chocolate Shake, which is a typical counter-service chocolate shake, which is usually pre-mixed and pre-made and just comes out of a machine. But here they've added bourbon and candied bacon, which I think is really fun, and it gives it a lot of depth of flavor. Some people think it's gross. Some people think it's great. You get to make the choice yourself. Trilo Bites is one of those uh, spots in Disney World where the menu changes all the time. They're always kind of testing out new things here. The Smoky Bones has been around for a while, but it could be gone at any time. So if you're interested in the Smoky Bones, you don't get there in time. Uh, Deluxe Burger also has a chocolate bourbon bacon shake. And we'll talk about that in just a little bit. All right, Whispering Canyon Cafe, let's go to Wilderness Lodge. Um, one of the quintessential items on the menu at Whispering Canyon is the bottomless milkshake. So that means refillable milkshakes. You can get as much as you want and they have them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So definitely order one of those bottomless milkshakes for breakfast if you're there. Um, one of our favorites is the salted caramel version. This thing is awesome. And I think this is one of my favorite milkshakes. It's so good and of course just the even though you can rarely drink more than one, it's fun to know that you could if you wanted to. Okay, it's time to go back to All Star Movies Resort, to the world premiere food court where we just talked about that secret menu a while back. And at other All Star um, resorts and, at, and here at All Star Movies, they have started offering a lot of really cool different milkshakes um, recently. And one of the ones we liked was the behind the scenes birthday cake shake. So this is gonna be birthday cake ice cream, whipped cream, and a vanilla cupcake. So the vanilla cupcake is cut in half and half of the cupcake is blended right into the milkshake and half of it sits on top of your milkshake. And so this makes it look over the top and we'll talk about that a little bit later that Disney's really started on that trend of the over the top milkshakes with all kinds of stuff piled on top of them. Um, and so this is kind of a, a little harbinger of that. So birthday cake, ice cream, whipped cream, vanilla cupcake and sprinkles. All right, now we're headed over to the Dolphin Resort. This is over by Epcot, and we're going to the Fountain, which is kind of a competitor for Beaches and Cream. It's a little soda fountain. They have, you know, burgers, fries, 
chicken nuggets, that sort of that sort of fare, although it's a little bit fancier than what you'll find over at Beaches and Cream. And here they've got a bunch of milkshakes, a ton, like a long list of milkshakes. One of our favorites is the Grasshopper, which is minty chip ice cream, Bailey's, creme de, co creme de coco, and cookies. And those are kind of thin mint knockoff cookies. So we're talking very chocolate mint here. And that one is, of course, an alcoholic milkshake. And another alcoholic one that you can get is called Strawberry Cookies, which is strawberry patch and cookies and cream ice creams with strawberry topping, chocolate milk, and whipped cream. And there's Oreo crumbles on here as well. You can add a shot of vodka to this one if you want. You can get it non-alcoholic or alcoholic. And another great one here is the peanut butter and jelly milkshake, which is of course a competitor to, uh, to the 50s primetime peanut butter and jelly milkshake. And this one looks a little more the part. Peanut butter ice cream, strawberry topping, whipped cream, Reese's Pieces on top. And this one's really, really good. So if you happen to be over over there at the fountain, um, I would definitely recommend this. Okay, now we're gonna go over to Deluxe Burger in Disney Springs, one of my favorite places, one of my favorite new openings in Disney Springs. This place has awesome burgers, incredible French fries with dipping sauces, but they also have gelato shakes, hand-spun gelato shakes. Um, lots of different flavors. Some of our favorites are the s'mores shakes, and then um, here's a picture of just the uh, vanilla and the salted caramel. Now, the salted caramel is probably one of the best things I've ever had uh, milkshake-wise in Disney World. This thing is amazing. And all those little black sprinkles on top, that is black sea salt. So you get a real salty, sweet flavor with this one. One of my favorites. All right, the next one we're gonna talk about is kind of a smoothie, but I'm gonna put it in here anyway. Uh, if you go to Trader Sam's Tiki Terrace, which is the outdoor Trader Sam's, not the indoor Trader Sam's, um, you can get the spiky pineapple, which was our first experience with a Dole Whip smoothie. So this is a basically Dole Whip and rum mixed together. And this was the first time anybody really did this on an official menu. Um, and so again, that's a spiky pineapple. And you can get a very similar drink now at many of the pool bars at the value resorts. So another favorite of ours that we've found is the Art of Animation drop off pool bar has a captain's pineapple which is captain morgan and dole whip uh, mixed together and pretty much all of the other value resorts now have some version of a dole whip alcoholic smoothie so just a heads up on that and then i'm going to take a little bit of time here those are all my favorites but i'm going to take a little time here to to discuss the trend that has been taking over uh universal and disney um, with these over-the-top milkshakes where they pile a bunch of stuff on top, like cupcakes and whole cake slices and brownies and, you know, cupcakes and stuff. Um, so these are basically, these are these ones are at Planet Hollywood. They're called Supernova Shakes. And um, you can see the whole point is the, is the look. You know, it's all about the looks. There's a bunch of stuff piled on top with cotton candy and brownies. Um, my experience with these is usually that they don't taste that good. And they're really all about, you know, the outside package versus actually tasting quite good. Um, they also do this at Universal over at Toothsome and at Paddlefish in Disney Springs, they have kind of a brownie milkshake that's um, that's uh, the same concept. So these look really cool. You can definitely get them, but they are expensive and the milkshake themselves, it doesn't taste very good. It's kind of icy. There's not a lot of good creamy flavor. Um, and so my experience with them was not a good one, but I'll just give you that. That is my opinion and I can't wait to hear yours. So please let me know in the comments what your favorite milkshakes are in Walt Disney World. Uh, let me know if you've tried the Supernova shakes and if you enjoy those or other similar shakes that are sort of over the top and have all that stuff piled on top. Um, did you love it? Did you hate it? What do you think about that trend? So let me know in the comments your thoughts and any other places that I should definitely go and have some uh, milkshakes in Disney World because I always love to take your suggestions and go do that stuff. Anyway, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog. I'm so bad at these outros. I apologize. <laughs> and um, I hope you guys are, are enjoying the channel. Please let us know the ones that you want to see come up soon. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We'll see you real soon.